Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Last episode we finished up the tutorial, created our character and made our way up to the main hub Majula. So in this episode we're going to check out what this Majula is all about. So I already know what our first step is and it's to talk to this lady. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Is that a Legend of Zelda reference or is it just me? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Go on and see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. King Vendrick. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald, which is, which is this lady. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me, so that hope will not fade away. It's kind of peculiar how often you have to talk to characters to get what you want. Bearer of the curse, seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Alright, so we can level up at this particular character. Oh, we actually don't have enough. So we'll just leave for now. First landmark is this gigantic tower. And it actually shows uh, your death count, but only if you're offline. So we've got three deaths so far. Hi there, sir. You're undead, aren't you? Oh shit, Sherlock. You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. Nah, we just don't have shout and shit drank like. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. Hi, Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you. Me or anybody. Do you know much about even I'm not certain, but I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has what we call the curse. Do you see what that means? Nope. To be alive. To walk this earth. That's the real curse. Right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this Aha. land with giant souls. Those are the souls that I need. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. So, I can actually join the Wave to Blue Coffin, but I'm not going to do that. I see. Then you'll have to brave this treacherous journey on your own. I will. If you ever require help. 
come back, back at any time. time. I will stay here and pray for your safety. This is just ridiculous how often I have to talk. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine. As I have nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Finally, so I can learn the gesture. And often when you're talking, when you get further into the game, he'll give you free stuff. May you find peace on your journey? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so that's that. There are a few more characters I want to talk to, and a few more things I want to do. The blacksmith is actually right here, but he's locked out of his little house. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. So yeah, this is locked, so we can't do anything here right now. So, let's see. Yes, I want to join the Champions Covenant. Break all the boxes. Because I can. So up here, there's something that a lot of people are afraid to do. There's this Victor Stone, so it's called. Oh my bone. So this is I can enter another covenant. Here's so enter covenant. This will set you upon an arduous path. Okay to join this covenant. Are you prepared to join this covenant? They're actually double warning me. Yes I am. Join the com the champions covenant? Yes. Triple warning. That's how dangerous is this. And this is already a, a Souls game. I don't um, I don't know what an ore stone is. I don't know how to get them. But I guess I'll find out. Oh wow. I actually never noticed this, but that monument is on a cliff. If that would be to break off, I mean, jeez. Alright, so that's that. Um, no, 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 no. In here is a cat who sells some stuff and lets you break um, your covenants, abandon them, but there's already enough talking in this episode, so. Uh, Hi there. Thank you. Bye. Oh, crap. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, those things have a lot of health. Uh, oh, crap. Those things are going to follow me till, till the end of the earth, aren't they? Retreat! Retreat to the bonfire! Yeah. So I've got this nice little logo next to my health bar now. Okay. Stupid little pigs are gone. They have a lot of health. Those are some armored pigs. There's one more thing that I wish to do here. And that is go to Marlin's shop. He's an armor vendor. There's a little chesty chest. Off there. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. W welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and uh, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry. I please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. See how meek he is. It's a little, it's really funny. But the more you spend at his shop, the bigger his ego becomes, and he's, he, he'll become a real asshole later on. So he sells shields and armor. Well, I don't I, really want I, anything I right now. But what I do want is this little chesty goo up here. Also, this is a really big chest compared to my body. Titanite shard used to upgrade. So what I got from that body in the well is an SS flask shard. I'll show you. Up here. Grants additional SS flask uses. The shard of an SS flask. Blah blah blah. Not going to read it. If you want to read it, you can pause it already now. So um, from the Emerald Hell I got an SS flask, which I can um, those are basically health items. And every time I find an essence flask shard, I will get one additional sip Is from it. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. 
to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. Yes, upgrades. There we go. Also, I found out how to dual wield. Your swords need to be compatible, and you need to have 150% of the required stats for both. Like, I need 7 and 16, so I would need 14 and 32 in order to dual wield. And I don't nearly have that. Oh, I know, that's double. Um, well, you know what I mean. Let's see. Also, um, for my covenant, I got this awesome. I think it's an online item. Yeah, so I can choose it. Greatest victors, the choose from the victor stone. Gained with the names of brave warriors who have offered the most awesomes. Okay, so how do I get awesomes? No idea. Oh well, we're done in Majula for now. Are we going to go into the first area, the forest of the fallen giants? I wonder what kind of effect the Champions Covenant will actually have. I am honestly uh, curious. Let's see. I uh, got Wanderer stuff. Good enough for now at least. Uh, um, da -da -dum. Over here. Run! Open up. This is where the real fight begins. This is where I will most probably begin to die. Oh, it was a close one. So yeah, this is the actual beginning of the game. In the first part, Things Between was just a little intro sequence, a little tutorial. But Jula is just a hub of the game, so... This is the first real area. Human effigy is actually used to turn human because I'm all ugly and green now. And. Boop! The man to restore, bitches. There we go. Raking up all the items. Forest of the Fallen Giants. Okay, let's see how strong you really are. Ah, not that hard. I can take you. Of course, these are just the first enemies of the game. Drop this helmet. A life gem, always handy. And first bonfire. I probably need to look it up. Does the Champions Covenant actually increase the difficulty of the enemy or... I have no idea actually. Oh, I need to do some better stamina management. Oh, they, it, it, it really does seem like they have more health. I really don't have anything to compare it to. No, whatever, not going to whine about it now. Just, whoa, arrow. Just going to play the damn game. I want to backstab you. No? Oh, crap. Okay, Champion's Covenant does do something. Oh! <coughs> I get whining so much about it that I... fail to really grasp the severity of the effects with this particular Covenant. I just used a human effigy, one of two. Look at my face, look at that. Gone as the... Peachy skin I had before. It's all ugly and green now. Oh. Okay, we're just going to take it really carefully. We can do this. 
It'll be fine. And Super Ninja Turtles awesome jump. Fine, fill jump. Can I actually? No, of course I can't parry. I've Okay, so now it's, be, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder. I'm actually going to make proper use of the items. Like throwing knives. Alright. Can I actually... No, I cannot! Drink, 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 drink! Drinking all the Estes. And ah, stop missing the damn buttons. And got it. Whew. I'm actually starting off with upgraded gear because I got these um, plus one scimitars and stuff. And I'm really the only class, the swordsman, that starts with upgraded stuff. Of course, that is all in the game. Oh, hello there. Also, when the enemies get hard, it's a new game plus when you beat the game and you start with the same character in the beginning again, but everything's harder. In Dark Souls 2, it just got harder, the enemies did more damage, got more health. But I noticed that in Dark Souls 2, there are actually new enemies, and I actually heard there are new bosses, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Are we doing on time? Just fine. I'll have to be careful here. Might have to lure him down. Okay, and down. Not taking any chances. Some of my Dark Souls playing fans will laugh at me for being so careful, but whatever. Better safe than sorry. Dual handing my scimitar. Like pigs to the slaughter. Oh! There we go. Proper strate strategy wins the day. Um, now let's check that out. Oh, that's a lot worse. No. I was sticking with my wonder stuff. It's been a while since I've been here. But look at all that shinies. All those shinies. Broken straight swords. Human effigy. Use that. Stop shooting at me. Why am I talking like this? I need to stop. Okay, let's first get rid of that damn archer. I heard there's been a lot of um, criticism on dual wielding in this game. Apparently it's useless, but uh, whatever. I'm going to use it. Oh! There we go. I think I've got the whole set. No, just for shits and, gi shit and giggles. Let's put it all on. See how it looks. Oh, I actually haven't got the main piece. Never mind. Didn't happen. Use a life gem. Um, since I'm a dexterity based character, I could really benefit from a bow. Does do a lot of damage. Ow. Not now, cat. And jump! I think this is actually the short sword, but I already have a short sword plus one. Like I said, not now, cat. Okay. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad. I mean, I'm not doing great, but... Um, there's this thing that if you know you're recording, you know there are going to be people watching. You're just not going to do as good. Oh. There's something there, I didn't know that. Can I make this jump? I actually didn't see this the last time. You know what? Oh, I can actually make this. I didn't think I would make it. Oh, 10 throwing knives. Awesome. I could really use those. That's what I like about high difficulty in games. If it's too easy, no, you can just spam the attack button. If it's difficult, you actually need to revise your strategy. 
actually have to make huge items. It's a lot more interesting. Also, I got 1640 souls. Um, I should really. I don't want to lose them. Also, this guy is. You encounter him a couple of times, you can never talk to him. I don't think. Doesn't seem like he has a real purpose. So. I'm going to fight him. Yep, I'm going to kill an NPC. Something I always say to people, don't kill NPCs, but I'm going to do it. He looks awesome, he looks tough. He has a freaking arrow in his eye, too, even. I'm going to put him out of his misery. And... Oh man, he has health. Uh oh, this might have been a mistake. Oh. Get back, Stab. Oh. Oh. Swift on brutal retaliation. Oh, come on. Heal up a little bit. Why the hell did he go that way? I need to get in another backstab. Okay, two handing this. Whoa! Gets me every time. Pop another life jam. No? He kind of looked like Sunbro from the original Dark Souls. Maybe this is like Sunbro's cousin or something. Maybe his brother. Ow! Oh, I hated that attack. Well, almost have him. Oh! Don't get greedy, don't get greedy now. Oh, 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 I thought I was gonna die for a second. Oh, wow. Gave me like 3000 souls or something. Heidi Knight's Horde. Now stuff is getting interesting. Oh, man, my durability is almost uh, completely gone. Um, I need uh, 11 strength for that. Heidi's sword originating in Heidi. A special alloy makes very durable. The composition of the alloy of the sword remain a mystery, but in Dragon Lake, the attempt to imitate the result is similarly bread and steel. Oh, it actually does uh, lightning damage. That's cool. Um, so I need two more strength. I'll keep that in mind. You know what? I should use my offhand weapon more to save durability. I should re-equip my throwing knives. Um, second. Hi there, buddy. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh no. Oh, I died, I died, I died. Crap, 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 crap. Throw the profanity. So, um, I'm going to go back to where I fought the Heidi Knight, I guess it is. And then I'm going to end the episode there. Oh, he's coming. Okay, you can't really follow up a heavy strike with a normal strike. There seems to be a delay. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or... I like the swordsman, swordsman so far. He dies quickly, but that might just be the new covenant. Awesome. Oh! All the stamina management. Weapons are great really fast in this game. Dark Souls 1, not so much. Whoa! And... There we are. Life gem, going to pop it right away. 
And you know the the luring them down thing worked last time, so I'm going to do that again. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> he fell. Loser. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Come on, come on down. And like lambs to the slaughter. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Oh, damn physics, damn physics. Okay, so I don't think there are any more. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ignore that archer. I'm going to brave new worlds. Get kills. My scimitar doesn't have much durability, does it? Um, does it actually show the durability? Yeah, it says max of 40. Um, yeah, short sword has 60. Which one has more damage? Base damage. Well, 15, 10. I think the. Yeah, the short sword does more damage, but. The scimitar is more fluid attacks. You know what? I'm going to switch them around for. Uh, just to save the durability. Yeah, that's more heavy. And then I can. Still do that with my offhand. I wonder if there's damage reduction for offhand attacks. But whatever. I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye guys.